Hey, this is Christy with Vegan Food for Thought, and today's episode is about arsenic and rice because um, Dr. Greger just put out a bunch of videos on this topic and what can we do to prevent this from happening. Um, uh, he also just brings it to everybody's attention that rice is one of the highest foods in arsenic. Um, besides chicken, then mushrooms because they're grown off of chicken manure and then rice because a lot of times they use chicken manure to um, fertilize the rice and they also use pesticides that contain arsenic or they used to use it and they build up in the soil um, and rice just happens to leach arsenic out of the soil um, so uh, is this good? Uh, no, it's not really good but um, it doesn't seem to be all that bad um, He, I got very worried originally when he started putting these videos out thinking that um, I shouldn't be eating rice anymore that I could have arsenic poisoning or something um, and it's just not that serious as he he lets people know, you know, the more information that's out there, the less worried I am about it. But there are definitely some things you can do to change that. Um, I choose to use quinoa more um, now, and I just try to add more vegetables to my dishes and things. I use potatoes and stuff that may not just be rice anymore. But um, you can also choose different rices from either California, Pakistan, or India because those are in the world, um, they are some of the lowest ones in the world. Just because they're from areas where they may not necessarily have access to chicken manure um, or they aren't using those pesticides that um, do contain arsenic in them. So. Those are really good options, um, and one other thing that you can also do is that you can boil your rice like pasta instead. So I just use a really, really large soup pot, and I do at least double the water. Um, I think Dr. Greger recommends quadrupling the water. Um, just the more water, the more con you know, the less condensed it is, the more water down the arsenic gets. So um, there are two types of rice, white or brown, that they compared. And the white rice, um, you can still lower the levels of arsenic in it by doing this method. But if you use brown rice, it holds on to the vitamins and the nutrients in the rice and it lets go of the arsenic. With the white rice, it was actually lowering the amounts of arsenic and lowering the levels of iron and all the minerals and things in the rice. So. Um, if you want to keep your minerals in your rice, choose brown rice, um, but it's still either way you're going to be lowering the levels of arsenic in the rice. So what you do is you cook it, add a timer, um, set the timer, once that goes off then you just strain the rice. You don't need to rinse it or anything, it just will have less arsenic at this point. So that's how I make my rice now um, after learning about all this. But um, realistically we don't really need to worry about much of this because um, the last video or one of the last videos that he released stated that the cancer risk is not elevated by eating more rice. So um, it's not correlating, it's not adding up to the same risk as compared to maybe eating meat or saturated fat or um, you know just being exposed to chemicals that are you know in our environment and things. Um, it's not as unhealthy. Um, so I'm not even really worried about any of this, but um, I would still like to lower my levels of arsenic in the rice just to be on the safe side. Um, and also one thing to consider is that in the China study, they mentioned that, well, the, the entire idea behind it is that they followed people's diets um, based off of where they lived. And it had a lot more to do with um, whether or not they um, it followed their cancer risk. And so basically the people that ate more meat um, that lived in more industrialized areas were the ones that were exposed to more cancer. So if, um, if you follow this, just eat you know more fruits and vegetables and get more exposure to fresh air or just you know work out and things and you'll be fine. So um, I'm not too worried about any of this. Uh, I'm going to continue to eat rice and I'm going to continue to eat out and eat rice from wherever it's from. And um, the only thing that it's changed for me really is that I'm buying rice from, you know, I'm making sure it's from California, Pakistan, or India and boiling it, you know, with a little bit of extra water 
So um, that just, you know, ensures that there's not that little extra bit of arsenic. Um, and I feel a little bit better knowing that, I guess. But that's really all it does. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post down below. And be sure to like my video. And um, yeah, I will continue to make more of these. <laughs> all right. Have a beautiful day.